Lord, we thank you for this amazing couple. God, we thank you for the journeys that you've given them individually to come to this moment, Lord. But then you uniting them together, Lord. We thank you for what you're doing in this moment. And we are excited for what you have planned ahead for them. So, Lord, we come with a heart of celebration to say thank you, Lord Jesus. Good to top me. Good to top me. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> That's She's beautiful, like you huh? You look so handsome. Yeah, it's very long. I know. Look at all those sparkles. Or I guess am I allowed to kiss you now or no? I think so. <laughs> I don't want to mess up your pretty makeup. <laughs> You're very beautiful. I love, I love you. Gregory, <laughs> four years ago this week, I was anxiously waiting for our first official date. Something in my gut told me then that you would be the man that I would marry, and I'm so unbelievably glad that it worked out. I remember telling my best friends and my sister that you checked all of my boxes, but in all reality, you are more than I could have dreamed of. Emily, I'm so glad our love of the casino brought us together those years ago. From the moment of our chance encounter and getting to know you, in those first few months, I knew you were special and the person I wanted to be with. As we have grown together, our lives have changed, but my love for you has only grown stronger. Since we re-met, not a minute has gone by that I haven't thought of you. My days have been filled with the sound of your laugh and the squeeze of your hugs. Having you in my life has been the breath of fresh air and comfort I have always hoped for. People say that relationships are challenging and take hard work, and I'm sure that we will face hardships, but with us, everything has always felt simple, natural, and effortless. I truly believe that God made you for me, the guy I've prayed for since I was a little girl. You have been my rock through extremely challenging and stressful times, and I can't thank you enough for everything you have done for me. You have truly made me a better person, and I'm so lucky to become one with you in marriage. I thank God for you and that you came into my life when you did. I couldn't create a more ideal and beautiful partner for my life. When I would think about the type of person I wanted to marry, you were better than I could have ever imagined. I promise to spend the rest of my days loving you, caring for you, and prioritizing our faith in each other first. I promise to be the packer and driver for all of our trips, the cook, and the organizer of both of our calendars. Absolutely. I promise to love you on busy work days and on slow Sunday afternoons when we're watching the races. I promise to help you water the flowers, take out the trash, and wake you up by turning all the lights on. <laughs> I promise to be open and honest with you and do everything possible to give you the happiness that you truly deserve. Emily, I promise to always be a loyal, faithful, loving, protecting, and providing husband. No matter what life throws at us, I will always be by your side, loving you until the day I die. Thank you for loving me. You are exactly who and what I need in my life. Thank you for being so amazing at all of your many titles in your life. From sister, daughter, granddaughter, friend, in-law, teacher, mentor, and now wife. You will certainly be the best mother as well, and I can't wait to raise a family with you. It is therefore my joy and privilege to declare you husband and wife. Greg, you may kiss your bride. Friends and family of the bride and groom, it is my pleasure to present to you Mr. and Mrs. Hendershaw. I promise to be your partner and best friend, no matter how old and boring we may get. I promise to honor and respect you and the precious relationship that we have been blessed with. Thank you for making me the happiest girl in the world. I can't wait to spend the rest of our lives loving each other. I enjoy all of our double dates, our road trips, and funny memories together. And I'm really just so thankful that Emily and Greg found each other at a time when they really needed each other the most. And I really believe that. My best advice to the two of you is to keep God, laughter, and friendship at the center of your marriage. I'm so happy for you both and wish you a lifetime of love. As you close this chapter of your life, you'll open up a new one together. And the best is yet to come. When I met you, I hit the lottery. <laughs> now let's get married. <laughs> That's pretty good. <laughs> I should have put jackpot though. I, yeah, I realize now a lottery, but that's okay. <laughs>